Globally, extreme drought events are causing tree mortality and losses in forest productivity, meaning that understanding how these forests respond to such events is becoming increasingly important. Our research uses tree rings, and we can think of tree rings as being a bit like fingerprints. While the lines of a fingerprint are unique to every person, every tree ring holds a record of each tree's unique relationship with climate and other variables every single year. As tree growth is tightly coupled to how favourable a given year's climate is, generally speaking, where we find wide rings, we also find that the climate in that same year was good for tree growth. In contrast, narrow rings often indicate that climate wasn't very good for tree growth, like in a drought year where it was too hot or dry. By taking tree cores or cutting cross-sectional discs from tree trunks, we can measure the width of each year's tree ring. We can then compare the width of narrow rings formed during and after a drought year to modelled tree growth in a scenario where no drought occurred to give us an indication of how much of an impact that drought had on tree growth. Our study used this approach to understand the total impact of an extreme drought in Scotland in 1984 on the growth of Scots pine trees. By comparing how fast the trees grew during and after drought, and how fast they might have grown if no drought had occurred, we calculated both the annual and cumulative growth deficit for each tree represented by the white lines. On average, tree growth took about four years to recover to levels we might have expected if no drought had occurred. The blue area indicates the annual deficit for all trees combined. We could then add up this annual deficit over the four years to estimate the cumulative impact of tree growth caused by drought, indicated by the orange area. But this was only half the story. After they had recovered, some trees' growth exploded, going into overdrive and compensating for some of the previously lost growth. The net effect of this compensatory growth was powerful enough to allow the forest to recover some of its lost biomass and reduce the cumulative deficit. As a result, the impact of the 1984 drought on forest growth was less after nine years than it was after four years, indicating that the short-term assessment of drought impact could underestimate forest resilience and overestimate drought impact. While this finding is encouraging, our study only considers Scots pine trees growing in Scotland. We now need to identify if compensatory growth exists in other species, locations and under what conditions. To find out more, get in touch or check out the research through the link below.